just wanted to do a quick update to the new iOS uh, version on our iPads. The previous video I made about speeding up your iPad or getting it back to its original operating state um, has changed slightly with this new version. Uh, as you can see, the new version is running 7.0.2, which is the newest version available through iTunes. Um, there are some things that are nice that have been updated on that, um, but the way to close your programs has changed slightly from the last video I made. So I uh, just wanted to quickly show you how that changed. Also, uh, hopefully the audio is better on this one. I did go get a new microphone. So um, the home button down here in the middle of your screen, we're just going to use that quite a bit for this. So that's your home button. And what we want to do is we'll hit it once to go back out to our main page. So the way to view everything that's open on your iPad is to double click that button. So I'm going to tap it quickly twice and this has changed slightly from what it was before. You can scroll side to side through these programs that are open. You can see I have the JW app open now. I have Evernote for my notes. Um, as you can tell I like to go for the high scores in Tetris. Uh, Tetris is coming up there soon and uh, YouTube and then the settings application. Well, while these are running, they're using up your system memory which slows down your iPad. And obviously you don't need them running all the time or don't want them running all the time. Uh, for instance, when I go on a study or go to a meeting, I obviously don't want all these apps open. Um, so usually before I arrive, I will uh, close everything out except for what I'm going to use. So the way you do that now is just simply by uh, click by putting your finger on the picture of the application and sliding it up, and that will close it out for you. Um, so for settings here, I'm just going to put my finger on it. You'll see, oh, you'll see as it starts to move up, and then off the screen it closes it out. So again, grab it off the screen, closes it out. I uh, don't want to lose that setting yet, so we're going to leave that one open. Um, if you do want to switch back and forth between apps, again, that's the same way. So if I'm in Evernote looking at my notes here and I want to open up uh, the JW app, instead of having to go to my home, which means I have to go here and then scroll over to my JW library and open it up, I can simply switch between them by double-clicking. And usually I only have those two open at a time, so boom, there it is. So that's the fast way and also an easy way to close out your applications so that the resources aren't being used in your iPad runs like normal. Hopefully this helps and keeps you up and running. Uh, in the future, we are going to be doing some apps, um, or I'm sorry, some more videos uh, that are pertaining to the uh, personal devices. The reason being is we have so many new things. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more updates to the JW library application. There already has been a few for my Android device and for my iPad. Um, and also I'm hoping to have a Android tablet here soon to do some videos on it as well. So if you have any questions about your iPads or your uh, Android devices, please feel free to leave a comment on Meekspace.com. You can find me. It's Derek Sparks on there. Again, it's Derek Sparks on Meekspace.com, and you'll be go ahead and leave me a question on my page, and it could end up being the subject of the next video. As of right now, the subject for our next video will be how to clean up this pile of mess I have on my iPad screen with all my applications everywhere. Uh, between me and my son, uh, there's just all kinds of stuff on here. It needs to be organized into folders, and our next video will be on that. And uh, as we get more into the JW Library app, that's where we'll go next. If you have any questions, again, feel free to email us or hit me up on Meekspace, and I'll do everything I can to help you. Have a great day.